extra minutes. You go to a party and then two weeks later you, you wake up and you're in hospital. You have no idea how you got there. Yeah. This, I didn't. I couldn't connect the dots for ages. Like I, it was, my brain had no. Like I couldn't really think properly. Couldn't do anything for so long. Couldn't like I would try to get to read. Couldn't read. Couldn't do anything. It was the worst experience. Just that that feeling of frustration and anger. Yeah. Just not being able to do anything. Yeah. Helpless. And. During this time, I, I would imagine there are tests going on. And did you get any more clarity on, on what the condition was going to be like and what you were going to be forced to live with? Um, as Lim, when he came out, his, his arm kept moving uncontrollably. His left side didn't move at all. So I knew there was going to be a bit of hope on his right side, but sometimes he would always click all the time and he had no control. But sometimes I would have that little doubt, like I would break down crying thinking, is this the way he's going to be the rest of his life? I knew he wouldn't be, but it, you know, it's you, the seed of doubt starts plant, gets planted in your head when you see him, the way he was moving, he couldn't walk. His, the left side was just dead, completely dead. I thought I was never gonna be able to just walk around, talk properly, because I couldn't talk properly at this stage. Um, I thought I couldn't do anything. Did you think at that point, is it all going to be worth it, struggling through? Or yeah, you... I questioned everything, to be honest. I, I always thought, oh, why am I here? I just want, I would rather, I wish I didn't wake up on the coma. And it's one of the worst things. It's, he's amazing because out of everything that's happened, he hasn't really been angry. He's accepted it and he's been, to me, very determined to get better. He hasn't really had any negativity, except when he had the seizure. I think that it, he was worried, one, he couldn't go home, he was angry not going home, and he was worried that it was gonna affect his surfing. <laughs> I think that's all he was really angry, that he wasn't, when they mentioned he might not be able to surf, he, <laughs> he, the anger came out then, and that's probably the only time out of this whole accident that I've ever seen him um, angry. Do you get down a bit? Uh, not really, to be honest. Like, you, everyone thinks I'd be down a lot, but I don't really get down that much at all. How do you just get on with it like you're getting on with it? I've accepted it. <laughs> the only thing way I can explain is that I realise that, like, positivity, that just really overrides e anything. And then just my mindset has been has changed everything. It's helped a lot. <laughs> it's really mature, really mature. How did, how did you, do you remember the moment you had that clarity? No, it's been like that from the start. Has it? Well, minus when I was like, I would have moments in the ICU, but, because my mates were always around me and then they always made me happy, so, as long as I have my mates around me and my family, it's like, yeah, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> have you had many girls coming to see you? Let's not uh, talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Has he had girls coming to see him? Yes, I, I didn't even know he was had so many female friends. I used to say, you're going out to parties, no girls there, no mum, no girls. And then when he was injured, all these women came to the hospital. I nearly died. Who are all these women? Tiger, <laughs> anything you want to say? <laughs> no, I got nothing. <laughs> Popular? Nah. That's what one of the nurses <laughs> called him. She used to say, Mr. because he had so many people visit him, and females especially, she used to go, Mr. Popular. <laughs> so in the end, it's just a standard joke now, he's Mr. Popular. Oh, God. <laughs> How good are mums? <laughs> <laughs> this <can't. laughs>